All right, we're gonna try and do this. Something I just learned. Reminds me of the old Markhart days and, and testing the ohms on the potentiometer. Um, as you look on the handle here, apparently Gatekeeper writes what it's supposed to be, 2.50 and 5.0. So what the actual reading between your red and your black wire here, tested on ohms, set on 20, you wanna take your multimeter and test the black and the red. And as you see, you get a 2.48, which is where we just got it to. So if you're reading anything beyond a 2.4, two, it needs to be set at a 2.48 and a 5, or I mean a 2.48 and a 2.58 is where it needs to be. As you see here, it says 2.50. Well, this was reading a 2.67 when I initially called Gatekeeper and start asking questions. So what he told me to do, if you look real close to the potentiometer, most of us you already know that uh, this right here is the potentiometer. It has the white, the black, and the red coming off of it. And between the bracket and the potentiometer is one nut, and then you have this outside nut. Well, apparently this outside nut has come loose over time. So what um, Matthew at Gatekeeper had me do is take a pair of channel locks and grip it, not on the shell, but grip it where the metal, black, metal, black, all the way around, that's where you need to grip it with a pair of small channel locks and you just wrap it around there like this, pinch on it and just twist it forward ever so slightly. Not a lot, you get too much, you're gonna be too far. And what happened was is this potentiometer rotated too far and I had to end up bringing it back towards me to get this 2.48 reading. And see, I might have tapped it, or I might be, there it is, 2.48. See, we're moving our fingers a little bit. That's why the numbers are going up and down. So we're trying to do a balancing act here. But, so messing with this potentiometer is really hairline movements. And then what I'm gonna attempt to do now is tighten this outer nut to tighten this whole thing so it doesn't move when I go to move this handle. And now that I move the handle, I want to check it again because I might have just set it out of whack. Maybe, just maybe, it might help you out too. Today, I want to remind See, I did a little bit. I'm, I'm at 2.51 right now. So just by moving that handle, just like I did, it took it to that 2.51. So when I tighten this, I need to take a half inch on this side. And Matthew told me to hold the housing the best that I can and tighten that nut a little more. I don't know if it's going to move on me or not, but just to let you know, I wanted to do this video because I kept getting a flash code stating that I moved the throttle before turning on the key or while turning on the key. So that gave me a flash code. So that meant I needed to turn off the key and turn it back on, but it kept continuing to give me a flash code, which led me to this area here and calling gatekeeper. So hopefully this video helps. Any questions, give me a call.